Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd like to thank you and our witnesses for being here today. Um, Mr. Chairman and members, I just returned um, from a uh, homeless program. I was there this morning uh, with a few of my colleagues. Mr. Cleaver was there and Mr. Green was there. We visited N Street Village, a homeless service provider, footsteps from the halls of our capital. At this hearing, as this hearing seeks to examine the effectiveness of HUD programs over the last 50 years, I thought it would be important to help make the connection between what we have talked about here in committee and what HUD is doing to support providers like N Street Village working on the front lines of our nation's effort to end homelessness. This morning, we spoke with women struggling to find work and fighting to overcome addiction, physical and mental illness, and abusive situations. What we saw today is how HUD programs directly touch and impact the lives of America's most vulnerable. We also saw that contrary to the many assertions we've heard about dysfunction and ineffectiveness at this agency, a rather ironic charge given pro productivity levels here in Congress. Uh, Mr. Chairman, in the wake of a foreclosure crisis that pushed as many as 11 million families out of their homes, a fully funded HUD is needed now more than ever before. This is an agency that in addition to reducing veterans' homelessness across the nation by 33 percent, currently supports 1.2 million affordable housing units for low-income families through the HOME program, including almost 500,000 units for the first-time home buyers in rural and urban communities alike. This is an agency that over the last 50 years has provided housing assistance to tens of millions of families. 35 million in the last 20 years alone. This is an agency that has ensured that 44 million families have access to the American dream by ensuring they have mortgages that they can actually afford without question. HUD is the backbone of our nation's safety net. Today, many of our members uh, have provided examples of HUD at work in their districts. These pictures demonstrate the transformative ability of HUD programs, particularly the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, which has infused over $7 billion into local communities to rehabilitate foreclosed homes and breathe new life into distressed neighborhoods in every corner of this great nation. However, uh, this good work sometimes continues to be misunderstood or undermined by harmful cuts to these programs. And so I think this is time for us to truly focus on the good that HUD has done and commit ourselves uh, to dealing uh, with problems such as homelessness that really can be addressed. In addition to the visit that we made this morning, last week I was at Vermont Village, uh, a project that has been developed in my district uh, with the partnership of the private sector uh, we had Chase Bank involved. Uh, we had a private developer. We had the County of LA. Uh, we had uh, another nonprofit. We had Enterprise. They all came together and built a wonderful unit, and it is serving homeless veterans. And the veterans were there, some in their wheelchairs. They were so proud of all of these uh, opportunities that are being provided uh, with the help and direction of HUD. And so what I wish Mr. Chairman, is that we could focus in a bipartisan way on what we can do from this committee in support of HUD to provide housing and uh, home opportunities for the least of these. Um, I believe that it is possible. In Los Angeles, homelessness has risen 12%. We have declared a state of emergency. The county and the city are coming together and combining uh, resources, but they need help from us. And so I would appreciate, I appreciate this hearing, but I appreciate that we will, uh, we should actually put more focus on what we can do for the homeless and for the least of these in providing a basic 
safety net for those who need our help so badly. I will yield back the balance of my time. 